guys to my channel if you're new here welcome this is boss vision where i share with you all beauty fitness and hauls and in today's video we're going to be doing a continuation of the entrepreneurial series so as you all know i decided to start a candle business and we're finally in the final steps the launching phase so i'm going to be taking you guys step by step with everything that i do if you haven't seen my recent videos on how i make candles and how i make labels please check those out i'll put the links right here but in today's video, we're gonna be going through how I plan to launch the 10 steps that I'm taking to prepare for launch day. Yeah, so if you like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, let's just get right into so it. So step number one is to fully develop your business plan. I will link a full amazing template down below, but it is so important for you to have laid out your business plan, your mission statement, what you're planning to do, how many units you're planning to sell, who you're selling it to, and why. That is so important to better your reach and actually have a profitable business. You need to register your business name and then get business insurance. I will link down below the best site to register your business name in North Carolina, as well as the best insurance in North Carolina. That way you'll know what works in this state, but it does vary from state to state. So I would say just do your research on the best insurance companies and always register your name so you don't run into any conflicts of interest when you start to sell. That's the worst thing. So yeah, make sure you register your business and then definitely get insurance. Number three, you need to make sure you have aesthetically pleasing photos. Your pictures make your products. Honestly, you can take them yourself. All you need is a quality camera. For me, I have an iPhone 11 Pro, which I'll be using, and I will be using a beautiful white crisp background and some props that cater towards my intended de demographic. I will be doing a video on this, so definitely stay tuned. Number four, after you've designed your beautiful, aesthetically pleasing photos, you need to jump in and create your website. You can use a number of websites. I chose Shopify because they have this great tool regarding payments. It's super easy. You know, you can accept American Express, Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, you know, you can accept PayPal, anything that your consumers have to offer, you can accept it, which I love. So I definitely went with Shopify and I'm gonna incorporate an Etsy shop, which is also very helpful. In order to make sure you get sales, you definitely need to have quality. So take your time, focus on your sites. Honestly, Shopify is very user-friendly, so I would highly recommend that one. I'll put the link down below because it's way easier than WordPress, which I have been using for my self-help blog. If you haven't seen it already, I would say just check out Vision of Voice right here. It's amazing, but WordPress is brutal it took me about three months to actually understand how to the functionality of it so for just a commerce when you're selling products i would say go with something like squarespace or shopify shopify is number one because it's easier to edit and they accept all different forms of payment so yeah just go with shopify number five after you've gotten your website designed and you've gotten your beautiful pictures created you got everything registered you're fully stocked up I definitely suggest you create an Instagram account. So in 2020, we realized that more people are stuck at home. They have to stay on their computers. They have to use their phones. I suggest creating an Instagram account and building it up using SEO. So SEO is search engine optimization. So I would definitely suggest incorporating the proper tag keywords that are in line with your niche and in line with your target demographic and what they're interested in buying. In doing so, people who are searching for, you know, fall candles, they'll see your posts come up. And then even Instagram, they like to put things on their discover page in line with what they search for. So if they're searching fall candles and you have the tag fall candles, it's going to come up on their discover page even more than it comes up on when they just search for hashtags. So they're not even just searching for hashtags. They'll just see you on the explore page. Number six, you need to create a Facebook shop. It's super important to get your product out there. And a lot of people who are using Facebook might not be using Instagram. So it's really good to utilize all social media platforms to gain that audience and build your brand. 
Number seven, I would say definitely send a candle to a well-known influencer. It could be someone on Instagram or it could be someone on YouTube. I would say more than anything, someone on Instagram because what I've noticed is if I see someone who is of influence and they are posting on their story about a product that they use, I'm more likely to click that link and look at what they're talking about and see if it's actually really good because I trust their judgment. So I would say send your products to someone well known and make sure it's good. I would definitely suggest asking them which of the candle fragrances they like the most of your line. That way you can send them that instead of just sending them what you suggest because what if they don't like it? And they're gonna be honest. They're gonna be honest in their review and the last thing you want them to do in their honest review is say, oh, this stinks because it's not their favorite scent. It could be a good quality scent, but if it's not their favorite, you don't want them to review it, you know? So I'll just send them a list and they'll just let me know what is their favorite. That's a better way. Number eight, make sure you post at least five times a week on your Facebook and on your Instagram. In order to build up a following, you need to be consistent and there needs to be activity there. You don't have to just post your products, post your studio, post a little more about the owner post you making candles and how sanitary you are being. There's a huge emphasis on being clean, especially during the COVID-19 issue, so you can show how you're packaging everything properly, how you're using gloves when you're doing the wax. Things of that nature will definitely make sure people feel comfortable in purchasing your products. Post little giveaways, post collaborations with other small businesses, get your name out there, stay consistent. So number eight is above all else, be consistent and make sure there's activity on all of your social media platforms. Number nine, you need to research markets in the area as well as small businesses that you could sell your candles at. You never know until you actually look out there. There's so many opportunities for growth. There are so many small companies in the area who have the space for more items and they just need you know someone like yourself who makes candles and you could bring your candles in they'll make a percentage of the profit and you'll make a greater percentage of the profit you're both happy number 10 you definitely need to incorporate an incentive for your customers you need to have some kind of driving factor that your first 50 customers get something. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate free hand sanitizer because I know that we all need that. So I'll definitely have that inside there, the first 50 packages. So if that tip resonates with you, you could definitely use it. It will definitely be helpful, you guys. And people love stuff like that. People just love feeling like you care about them instead of you are just trying to take money from them. And that is the main goal overall in preparing for your launch. You need to focus on making sure you're providing something for them and not just asking people for money. Just give, 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 and you'll always have. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I would definitely say check out my Instagram down below. Please go ahead and follow Sense of Vision. I will be launching in December. So you don't, if you don't want to miss out on any of those updates, please go ahead and follow. And if you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your week. Just live in your purpose and love life. Okay, bye.